Hello Sagittarius, this is your reading for December 2018. It will not resonate with all Sagittarius individuals, so please keep that in mind. I say it every time, but some people consider this a personal reading, but it is for the masses. It's a general energy reading. So this is for Sagittarius, starting December 2018. Sagittarius, December 2018. Maybe dealing with uh, yourself, actually, more than anything. Or you could be taking on um, the Prince of Wands energy. It's a young energy. It's a youthful energy. It also could be another Sagittarius. could be Aries or Leo. It also could be that someone may bring a message to you or want to present a message to you of a fiery nature or a passionate nature. But if this is meant to be, it'll come out again. Sagittarius, December 2018 reading. Full Celtic Cross, comprehensive. Let's see what we can do. Incoming energies for Sagittarius in December. I hope it's a good one. You got Jupiter in your sign. We also got Mercury in retrograde going on, so. Communications may be off, so remember that to um, really focus on what you're uh, trying to communicate with others and uh, that there are no miscommunications coming in or out. <clears throat> Adjustment is in reverse. This is decisions not made clearly, which is, which is normal for this time of year, for this type of energy that's going around. Like I said, watch for your communications and uh, your judgments all together, as we should all the time. You know, especially when on something important like uh, purchasing a car or home. And, as, at, and at this time, it's the holidays where people like to buy gifts and things of that nature. So do your research and make sure... Like you get insurance on your packages, make sure you're able to track them, okay? Because you may not be seeing things clearly and you may make the wrong decision without really thinking about it. <clears throat> this is about balance. It's the art card. It's about keeping balance. What's crossing it is wanting what you're wanting. You may be talking to yourself saying, I need to keep more balance, I need to keep a cool level head, but at the same time, I feel like I need to push forward or I'll just explode if I don't, if I don't go for what I want. So you're in that struggle right now, keeping a cool head. I'm not talking about temper necessarily, but it could be. But this is basically someone wanting to go out and do things, but at the same time, they're thinking, i got to hold back just a little bit and think about things, which, as you saw the adjustment, in reverse. But maybe you dealt with that already where something happened. Your goal is to avoid a tower situation or any type of tower situation. I'm hoping all these cards come in. What I'm worried about mostly is, even though I record this, when I go to editing for, you know, to up my amplification. Uh, it sometimes cuts my cards off, but foundation, let's get back to the reading. Foundation, the sun card is happiness. That's what you're wanting. You may be feeling this way during uh, December. You may actually feeling uh, more lighthearted. In the past, you decided to go with a new beginning, jumping into something new, something you haven't done before. And I like the full card because the full card in itself is movement, is moving forward. I hate stagnation cards, <clears throat> but the full card is not that, especially in the upright. As someone going for new beginnings, better beginnings, happier beginnings. The only uh, negativity with the full card is that you don't think clearly when you jump into something. That seems to be uh, the key issue here is thinking clearly before you make decisions. In the very near future, you're going to come out of worried, po being worried possibly, or feeling left out, or feeling stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clarify those. I'm going to put these four out because this is the what is coming towards you in the distant future. But I want to deal with the, what's coming right now. Hopefully these cards don't get cut out because I really need them all in there. But let's go back to the balance. 
the art card, Temperance, and other decks. And what's crossing it is the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is taking domination and control, wanting to push forward. It's also about making decisions also, like I said, with some of these other cards. It's like you've got a choice you can make. You've got two options, but you want to do them both for some of you. But the key is to keep balance and keep control. Can I get another card for the art card and the two of wands? If you do hear me stop talking, it's because I'm trying to think of what's going on. You don't want to cause another heartbreak in your life. You're afraid if you charge forward with something or do something that you really want to go, go for, it may cause a heartbreak situation whether with you yourself in, in your own heart or somebody else around you by making these choices you want to make and the new beginning jumping into something new in the past there now can I get another card I want one more card for the art card two of wands and the three of swords for Sagittarius December could have to do with an air sign or someone taking on this energy it could be like I said, an air sign could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They are in the upright. Maybe you don't want to break this person's heart. Or maybe <clears throat> you're trying to avoid or keep your balance over heartbreak that involved this air sign, in your, like I said, in your own self. Now, as a goal, you're trying to avoid a tower situation, things crumbling down around you, things going amok. That's what you're trying to you know, your goal was crowning you trying to avoid these situations, which is pretty wise. <clears throat> the Tower card in reverse. Why are you there for Sagittarius as the goal? Yeah, because things have caused you anxiety before. Remember, this is a subject we're concentrating on. These are the whys. Why is this happening? And that is the Nine of Swords. That's anxiety. It's cruelty. It's staying up late. It's not knowing what to do. <clears throat> so you're avoiding tower situations so you don't have anxiety. So that makes sense, right? Can I get another card for the tower card in reverse and the Nine of Swords in the upright? As the goal, can I get another card, please? Why are you there? You're really, really um, going to watch your options. You didn't see a lot of good options, situations out there that are presenting themselves to you. You do not feel like they're beneficial. <clears throat> so you may not you may opt out from things that will cause a tower situation. This is why. A seven of cups in reverse is about avoiding negative options, situations. And that like I said, that makes all sense. Now the foundation is because you're wanting happiness. You're not wanting the tower drama. You're avoiding that situation. But you've got the sun card as your foundation of happiness and bright sunshine and good things coming. Why are you there, the sun card? Why are you there for Sagittarius in December? Two of Cups in reverse. Why? Because you, the why is you're wanting happiness. Why? Because... Possibly in the past for you, things didn't work out. Could be a love situation that didn't, didn't work out. Maybe there was a third party sometimes. And I know people don't like to hear this. Just sometimes, for very few of you, there could have been a third party. And now you're going, going for happiness. You're not, not allowing these tower situations to occur. Because maybe they didn't work out in the past, things didn't work out in the past, and crumbled down. Now you're just looking for happiness, and there's nothing wrong with that. Knight of Cups. This person could have been involved, someone taking on this energy. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm thinking a little bit further in this of the why, they want happiness. The love situations didn't work out, but with the Knight of Cups in the upright, this could be, like I said, an actual person, or this is what it could be what you're wanting as an energy. Someone who's loving, kind, and gives themselves in a positive way. 
It also could be that maybe some of you were a little hurt over the Knight of Cups, who was basically, I think, a kind person because they're in the upright, but it might not have worked out with them. But it, like I said, for I think for a lot of you, it's that you're wanting a positive person in your life or you're just not wanting it at all. As the goal, another thing with the Seven of Cups in reverse is that you're just, like I said, not going to just accept anything. That includes just any relationship for some of you. Now, in the past, you did jump into something new with the Fool card, and it's a great card. I like the Fool card. Like I said, it's like a fresh energy. The Fool card, why are you there for Sagittarius? Making sound, final judgments. Because you want to make a final judgment that is positive and lasting. Because you got betrayed, hurt, an ending occurred. Definitely happened, an ending happened. And you went into something new. You made a decision to go into something new and to end something that caused you serious harm. Emotionally and possibly physically. Financially, it doesn't matter. That 10 card... The ten, of, the ten of Swords has to do with betrayals and ruins and final endings. And remember, this is the Y card. This, is, this has already happened. And you jumped into something now. This is something you already know about. Now, in the very near future, you've got the Five of Pentacles. It's in reverse. And that could be that you're coming out of worry, some of you. Coming out of feeling abandonment, left out. Let's find out for sure, though. I need another card to know. Or whether you're staying stuck in it. We have to see. Five of Pentacles. Why are you there in the very near future? Seeing things for how they are. No longer blocking. With the Two of Swords in reverse. I need one more card. Can I get one more card? For the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Swords in reverse. Going for your desires. I, th I believe you're going to be coming out of feeling stuck. Because this is, to me, a worry card. It's a stuck card. It's, you're stuck in your head with this also. Feeling abandoned. Coming out of that. Seeing things for how they are. And going for the things you want and desire in life. So, yeah, you're, you're going off to a good start. You're off to a good start. Because you're reevaluating your situation. Deciding where you're wanting to go. And going for happiness. You got the desire, you got the drive and the motivation to do so. Advice from the universe, possible future outcome. Communications may be coming in. It's talking about communications all the way around, possibly travel for some of you. Eight of Wands is a great card, also. You're moving forward, Sagittarius. That right there is a positive reading in itself. Eight of Wands, why are you there? I believe I said Eight of Wands earlier, didn't I? It's Eight of Wands. It's communication, swiftness, travel. Why are you there for Sagittarius? It's a possible future outcome or the advice. No longer hanging around. The hangman in reverse. Very good card to have in reverse if you got these two, two together. And you're going to take up for yourself with the Five of Wands. You're not going to just... Uh, accept any negativity, anybody coming after you. If it happens, there may be strife, there may be arguments. I see you as putting yourself out there, saying, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to move forward in life and be happy with my situation, whatever situation you want to create. Remember, this is your life and your path, and you can guide yourself also and change this if you don't like it, or change it to where it's positive for you. But there is communications possibly coming in. The universe may be telling you to communicate or to accept communications. Why? Because there was strife and to no longer be stuck. Or, or it could read very well the outcome that you may be traveling or communicating with others. Maybe even those that you in the past that you had been arguing with. Coming towards you is gain. Oh, that's a good card. That's the Nine of Pentacles. That's right before you finally get what you want in life. It's, it's the 
the mountain you're climbing, but it, it's fruitful. The things are starting to come in with the Nine of Pentacles coming your way as the outside environment. And this is also what you're wanting as an outside environment is gaining. There's nothing wrong with that. But the Nine of Pentacles, why are you there coming towards Sagittarius as the outside environment? Why is that there? Because things were too slow before. Offers were too slow. Gain is coming. Whereas it's slow, usually. It was slow coming, but it's coming. I'm thinking it's starting to arrive, but it was slow coming before. And someone that's coming towards you as the queen of this, someone taking on that energy possibly, could be an earth sign. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They're in the upright. They are the queen. They have independence. They have good advice. They're also a type of nurturing person. To me, just like almost like the queen of wands. I mean, queen of cups in a way. But they're more like independent. But they're also the motherly figure. They're the ones that give good advice. The one you can go to and count on. Coming towards you with gain. That was slow coming. Before. Your hopes and fears is that you won't be able to move on from troubled waters possibly. Could be your fear. Six of swords in reverse. Why are you there for Sagittarius? You're afraid you won't get that happiness and you're afraid you won't be able to move on. This is all fears. This is all what's in your head. Get that out of your head. Yeah, you're afraid that you won't come out of sorrow and you won't have happiness. Usually with the Five of Cups in reverse, that could be a decent card. It could be coming out of sorrow. Remember, these are your feelings and fears. I don't think you're hoping for unhappiness. But this is what you're fearing. When, it's, when you get the Five of Cups, it's not, next to other... Um, cards that are in reverse and not in such a positive way, it could be, you know, like I said, your fears are that you're afraid that you won't have happiness. Things won't move on the way you want them to and that you'll be uh, forever disappointed. But that's you got to get that out of your head. you got to get that out of your head because it's a fear. Final, final outcome, Knight of Disc. You feel like things are just going way too slow. Remember the slow energy I said is coming in? I think it's coming in. It, this is like a past thing that has always been slow. And it may be still a little slow, like in the first part of December, not coming as fast as you want, but it's coming. Okay? It's coming through and communications are opening up. Remember, the universe has to communicate, possibly travel or allow people to communicate with you. Knight of Disc, why are you there? Oops, that wants to pop out. Prince of Wands in reverse. Let's find out one more card. You're dealing with people. I think you're dealing with people in reverse. I don't think it's the slow energy. I think you're dealing with people in reverse. And worry. You may be coming out of worry with people that you have been in reverse with, in a negative situation with arguments. Now I know why that strife card is there. Communications may be a little rough for some of you because you're wanting to start something new and you're wanting your happiness. And maybe some people will be feeling left out. I see that. People are feeling left out around you. Or you may be feeling left out around them. But I'm feeling this mostly for Sagittarius. Um, doing this to others. They're kind of putting people aside and going for what they want. And like I said, others are feeling a little banded and left out. Because you're going for what you want. You're going for beauty and happiness. With the Empress. You're going for fruitful situations that are gro that, and growth. And like I said, something's coming towards you that's really positive. That's bringing in more gain. And your desires are very strong, like I said. But, like, and, but the warning is people are going to feel left out. So it's up to you how you communicate. So to avoid the strife. But still, you can still move forward. Just remember there's people around you that could get hurt while you're going for the things you want. So the key is communication, open communication and talking to the people you love and care about around you and beauty will prevail and growth will prevail anyway. Okay, 
So as you're reading Sagittarius, things are moving forward. It looks like Jupiter's doing well. But like I said, with um, Mercury in retrograde communications, um, always double check your communications during this time, even when you're jumping into new things, because that's when it can go amok. And I know you're trying to avoid that tower. And it looks like I said, things are coming in in December. I don't think it's going to hinder you too much, but I think communications will definitely be off. So keep that in mind. Talk to you later. Bye.